Praise the Lord. All right, today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, September the 14th, 2022. I am Mama Pam of Smurf Family, Smurf International Ministry. Reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, seven minutes, and it reads, Then shall the land enjoy her Sabbaths, as long as it lieth desolate, and ye be in your enemy's land, even then shall the land rest, and enjoy her Sabbaths. As long as it lieth desolate, it shall rest. Because it did not rest in your Sabbath when ye dwelt upon it. And upon them that are left alive of you, I will send a faintness into their hearts. In the lands of their enemies and the sound of a shaken leaf shall chase them and they shall flee as fleeing from a sword and they shall fall when none pursue them. And they shall fall one upon another as it was before a sword when none pursueth. And ye shall have no power to stand before your enemies. And ye shall perish among the heathen. And the land of your enemies shall eat you up. And they that are left of you shall pine away in their iniquities in your enemies' lands. And also in the iniquities of their fathers shall they pine away with them. In your sins, as we talk about, if you sin, he said, this is what's going to happen. What I'm reading now. And after they shall confess their iniquities and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass, which they trespassed against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me, and that I also have walked contrary unto them, and have brought them into the land of their enemies. If then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled, then they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity. And then will I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham will I remember and I will remember the land. Praise God. The land also, thank you, a big MCK fan. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate your gifting and a better me. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. Verse 43 and the land also shall be left of them and shall enjoy their Sabbaths while she lieth desolate without them. And they shall accept of the punishment of their iniquity because even because they despise my judgments and because their soul had hoard my statutes. And yet for all that, when they be in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away. Neither will I whore them to destroy them utterly and to break my covenant with them. For I am the Lord their God. But I will for their sakes remember the covenant of their ancestors. Whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. In the sight of the heathen. That I might be their God. For I am the Lord. Now these are the statutes. And the judges. And the laws. And the laws. Which the Lord made between him and the sin and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. Chapter 27. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When a man shall make a singular vow, the person shall be the persons shall be for the Lord by the estimation. And thy estimation shall be of the male from twenty years old, even unto sixty years old. Even thy estimation shall be fifty shekels of silver after the shekel of the sanctuary. And if he be a female, then the estimation shall be thirty shekels. And if he be from five years old, even unto twenty years old, then the estimation shall be of the male twenty shekels, and for the female ten shekels. And if it be from a month old, even unto five years old, then thy estimation shall be of the male five shekels of silver, and for the female thy estimation shall be three shekels of silver. And if it be from sixty years old and above, if it be a male, then thy estimation shall be fifteen shekels, and for the female ten shekels. But if he be poorer than thy estimation, then he shall present himself before the priest, and the priest shall value him according to his ability that voweth shall the priest value him. And if it be a beast, there are of men bring in offering unto the Lord, all that, in any man, all that any man giveth of such unto the Lord shall be holy. 
He shall not alter it nor change it. A good for a bad or a bad for a good. And if he shall at all change beast for beast, then it and the exchange thereof shall be holy. And if it be any unclean beast of which they do not offer a sacrifice unto the Lord, then he shall present the beast before the priests. And the priest shall value it, whether it be good or bad. As thou valuest it, who art the priest, so shall it be. But if he will at all redeem it, and he shall add a fifth part thereof unto thy estimation, and when a man shall sanctify his house to be holy unto the Lord, and the priest shall estimate it, whether it be good or bad, as the priest shall estimate it, so shall it stand. And if he that sanctify it will redeem his house, then he shall add the fifth part of money of thy estimate unto it, and it shall be his. And if a man shall sanctify unto the Lord some part of a field of his possession, then thy estimation shall be according to the seed thereof. An omer of barley seed shall be valued at fifty shekels of silver. If he sanctifieth his field from the year of Jubilee, according to the estimation, it shall stand. But, if he sanctify his field after the jubilee, then the priest shall reckon unto him the money according to the years that remain, even unto the year of the jubilee, and it shall be abated from thy estimation. And if he that sacrificed the field will in any wise redeem it, and he shall add the fifth part of the money of the estimation unto it, and it shall be assured to him. And if he will not redeem the field, or if he have sold the field to another man, it shall not be redeemed by any money. But the field, when it goeth out in the jubilee, shall be holy unto the Lord. As a field devo devoted, the possession thereof shall be the priest. And if a man sanctify unto the Lord a field which he hath bought, which is not of the fields of his possession, then the priest shall reckon unto him the worth of the estimation, even unto the year even unto the year of the jubilee, and he shall give thine estimation in that day as a holy thing unto the Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer, and me, the reader, of this precious and sacred word of God. So that will bring us tomorrow to Leviticus, the 27th chapter and the 24th verses. So let us do a little review. How about that? Review is always good. It's always good to review what you've already done. Y'all just heard all this stuff I read about the, the, um, the estimations and the estimations, right? So 27 to 24. In 225. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to re rehash. We're going to read the enduring word. We did it yesterday. We did it last night. But we're going to do it again this evening. So now that we've read the word, because we're, we're going front, front, forward and backwards. We're doing it and then we're redoing it. And to this, uh, to my readers on the this platform. Um, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being a part of the Smurf ministry and continuing to listen to the nine, seven-minute pre-reads that I do every day. And I post them on that you page. On that you page. Yes, I do. I post them on that you page. And thank you.